It's Cast Away. Cast Away. That's a new one. It is new. Do you ever think five years ago, when well, it hasn't been quite five, but five years ago when we got hitched up, that we'd be sitting at a podcast, like talking to each other this way about some of our experiences? Oh, wait, hold on. Did you just say it hasn't been five years yet? It hasn't wait. been five years yet. It hasn't? What year did we get married? 18. What October. Year is it now? Uh -huh. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Ooh, and 24. Oh, five, five years, more than five years. Okay, this is like evidence that it can be used against me forever. What date did we get married again? 27th of October. Okay, That's good. the one that you forget. That's when I, it's not that I forget. I get, in the first couple of years, I got mixed up. Not forgot. It was either October 27th or 28th. That was the only thing. <laughs> we eventually ironed that out. Because Facebook said 28th. And the Facebook because we all know. I don't, well, I don't know. I don't know why it said that. And it stuck in my mind. And there was a lot of dates back in that year that, that I was... Our honeymoon was awesome. And so, yes, we're going to talk about the honeymoon. And it was oh, awesome. No. Okay. Uh, but what made it awesome was the trust that you showed... Mm -hmm. I'm going to cry. You're going to make me oh, cry no, about this. Oh, no, 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 no. I brought these just in case. <laughs> I don't see why you're going to cry on this one. We're going to keep this just on the level. Because it's sweet. Okay. Uh, because it these was are the, sweet it's tears? A, yes. Um, yeah. So we went shopping, and we were upgrading some um, of your wardrobe. And you allowed me in this dressing room, and I was going and fetching dresses and talking to the nice older lady that was incredibly nice mm -hmm. and we kept going back and Can forth I one of those things oh, yeah. nice. okay, oh i guess i, should, I did um, bring them for you thank you thanks i don't know what i'm doing here, I don't, here know, you I, go. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna mess up the feng shui here i think you can leave it right out here there's a lot of things okay uh-huh and oh, a couple things that right here what do you got no, just on the on our honeymoon, there are a couple things of trust, show, you know. But yeah, there was, and it was. But I, I'm kind of drilling down on that part because that was something that mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of women, because yeah. you weren't exactly excited about the dress sizes being shown, because when we got yeah. married, you were a little bit over 170. Uh, I I don't know actually where exactly I was. At. I think I weighed 165 at that moment. I think I dieted. I don't oh, remember. I, the, the plunge for the, the wedding? Uh -huh. The wedding plunge? Yeah. The wedding plunge. I don't know what you call it. What's the... Mm -hmm. yeah. Something like that. I probably should have done one. I, I did don't... a keto. I tried a keto. Oh, thing. that was great. And um, Which, that's not I tried. I'd done that before. It's not like it was brand new, but that was pretty... But yeah, I think I'd lost a couple... I don't, I don't know. I didn't have a scale, and I don't remember how I thought 165, but... Okay, so, so I'm going to draw a line from that day mm -hmm. to this day. Now, I'm going to ask a loaded question because it's, not, because it's an unknown for me. Mm -hmm. But did you get on the scale this morning? Well, I forgot Kay. this morning. Do you usually forget? Mm. Uh, some, lately I have, yeah. Mm. But not always. Like it, or Most of the time, I'm not afraid of it right. anymore. But I back just, then? I would not own a scale or go near it if I could help it, or look if I had to at the doctor. Right. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So the scale was kind of a so negative. So no, I don't forget now. Not really. Right. You don't really forget. I, I no, was wondering if you were going to clear that up. Times, Every yeah. once in a while you forget. But most of the time you just get on it because it's data to you. You're like, okay. Mm -hmm. And you'll, you know, either sometimes you, oh, hey, look. <clears throat> or sometimes you just, mm, again, move along. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Um, so from that day to this day, Obviously, there's been 60 plus pounds of, of things that have, were lost, uh, weight that was lost, and we're looking at many different ways that I feel like I remember better than you do, mm -hmm. um, because yeah, there was some emotionally loaded times, there was some hard times, there was some really cool times that I noticed that I've never, ever, ever experienced before. So I'm going to tell my experience, and then you're going to fill in the blanks with some of the stuff you dealt with. I'd never seen anybody celebrate the smallest of, of victories mm -hmm. like you did, and I thought that was really cool. I thought that was really, really cool. I didn't really drill down on why I thought it was so cool, because I'm not really wired that way. Mm -hmm. 
like, oh, wow, I went, you know, from a size 39 and a half waist to a size um, 38 and a half waist. Uh, my viewpoint with this would be I'm still a fat guy. I bet that's what my viewpoint would be. But yours is totally different. Yours was like, look at this. Look at this. It's loose. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, and, and every dress size that would drop. Every um, There would be a, 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 a muscle that would pop at some point. You'd be like, look at that. Look at that. And every little tiny thing to celebrate mm-hmm. was like in great just this, this gratitude of and this excitement that was electric um you were looking for a gym that had a specific type of machine and you went to mm. a few different gyms looking for this particular oh, machine mm-hmm. um because it was part of your regimen of the moment and then you'd be walking out of the room at 5 a.m mm-hmm. and then yeah. You'd have your your hot yoga stuff and your gym bag and your whatever, and you'd go to both that morning. And I went. I was thinking, who and what is what is happening here? I'm the lazy slack <laughs> that's sitting in the bed. No, la- no, I just. And you're going, 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 going. So you never really stopped movement or working out on some level from that time to today. Mm-hmm. And you've added right now. Well, the gym was b- before the gym was some, was walking. We walked. Um, that's what started it, I believe. I think that's what began. Is your plus your we just starting like walking? Um, yeah. And I think Kinda. that's what started it because we started tracking our steps mm-hmm. and stuff. <laughs> well, you offered to walk with me to lose weight because you walk anyway, mm-hmm. and then um, and just to kind of hang with me, you know, we used to. And then we started, yeah, looking at our steps on the. Like, oh, how many steps was that? Because 10,000 was the... Yeah. And I remember the first few years you'd bury me on vacations. You'd have like 12,000 before I got out of bed. Yeah. Not on accident. Because, <laughs> yeah, I guess you would get <laughs> yeah. up pretty late. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Yeah. I'm pretty yeah. accurate historian. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so we go on vacations. We'd walk everywhere and, and you'd have like... And I used to just think it was because your steps... Or shorter than mine. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. I, I, I would get. Legs, I, I would get buried on these vacations. <laughs> well, so they I are have, actually shorter than yours, and you have long legs for. For a short guy. You're not short. <laughs> Five ten is not short. Okay. So at the end of the day, it's kind of interesting. So I saw all of these things moving, but you were in mm-hmm. an, another thing that was interesting, because I always figured if she'd just do what I do. This whole thing would be wrapped up in six months, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. the reality is, is I wouldn't do nothing's it. ever wrapped up in six months. Well, and I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't stick with it. I'd give up. And it no. wouldn't have your name on it. It wouldn't yeah. be your way. And so, at some point, um, you elected. You know what? I loved rollerblading when I was a kid, and you said, "Hey, I loved rollerblading when I was a kid," mm-hmm. and. Did, would that be stupid if I did that? I remember we were driving back from San Diego, mm-hmm. and I'm like, why would you be stupid? And you're like, yeah, why would I be stupid? And before <laughs> you even had the words, mm-hmm. why would I? You, they were already ordered mm-hmm. from the Amazons, mm-hmm. and you began your rollerblade um, career that is still going. You still do it daily. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's my fun time. It's your fun so, time. Yeah, my active time. And it's an, a, a great way to yeah it has the same calories it burns is similar very very similar to running and i hate running Um, and it's easier on your joints with a zero impact unless you how cool is that Mm -hmm. unless you fall (laughs) (laughs) it's the same as swimming or it's a little bit more than swimming but but with the same calorie burn as it's like blooming ice skating that stuff's legit fun yeah, yeah, and, it's the same. yeah and you and, and and now we're and now but all sorts of people in our neighborhood drive and find an ice skate right you know well yeah and That's rollerblading exactly, makes yeah. sense i mean you're outdoors you get to kind of yeah you can do it anywhere the, and right now it's hot and you're still just rolling it mm-hmm. with your cute shorts and mm-hmm. and uh yeah, felt good too and you hit the gym in the mornings and you do these things and it's just a consistency but that didn't start being that way from that dressing room it was a it was a it was a commitment that you'd made but it was an adventure Mm -hmm. 
it was trying this diet for a little bit, trying this diet for a little bit, trying this diet mm-hmm. for a little bit until you kind of realized all diets are kind of horse. We all know what's mm-hmm. good and what's not so good. Yeah. And if we don't, we can easily find out. Yeah. Um, if it comes out of a yeah. box, it likely isn't that great for you. If it's closer to the ground, remember my sister at some point when she had lost um, quite a bit of weight, mm-hmm. um, you'd gone from whatever you were when we started to 142, 144 in that range. And you were really starting to, woo, look at this, look at mm-hmm. this. I mean, you dropped a ton of um, so, clothing yeah. sizes and things of that nature. And yeah. you were very excited about those sixes. And and and, and yeah. I think that's the dress size. I, I know Maybe more about eight. dress. I don't remember. That, Six that's, and eight that time. That would be something to track. I should have tracked that. You were, you were really, I, I can mm-hmm. track it right here. Because I remember when it became a 10 and you were like, yes, look at that. And then it became single digits. Single it was, digit, yeah. and you were really that. excited about that. And then in the one forties, you're somewhere around the six and eight, like you said, and you, you had brands that you started to like that fit your body well. Uh, and you felt really good about you then, mm-hmm. but there was a good year of that. And you didn't feel Based. like you were done you didn't feel like you didn't feel like it was complete. You had accomplished anything. You mm-hmm. just felt like uh, I just kind of stuck in the middle somewhere, and it just stuck. It stuck between. Um, and that kind of ate you alive. It kind of not ate you alive, but it kind of was a like a little bit of a cloud over you for a for a for a stretch of time. Mm-hmm. And what made you kind of break out of that? Mm, I don't know if you remember. I mean, it's gonna, it's just clear as day, but it's it's not logical. It just was um, the book I'd read, The Way Down Diet. <laughs> that that long you read a long ago. time ago? Because mm-hmm. you had mentioned this book to me quite quite a few times. Yeah. Um, and how impressed you were with well, this lady. Well, we were in Disneyland. Yeah, just the concept. It, it, well, she, her, but it was the it was the principles yeah. that she taught of sacrifice and um and but the offering you know but being hungry eating when hungry <laughs> like it's all programmed all in the body already mm-hmm. right you know, we, we came work, this we way think, we think against it we think ourselves out of it we talk ourselves out of it. we think ourselves out of it we we out of the natural instincts we are born and programmed with and so um that yeah that got I don't remember what it came, why it came in my head that moment, but Disneyland, I was tired of, di- I was tired of thinking about, um, you know, just tired of thinking and not enjoying life. And I said, I just have to spend time. more life, less food. That's what I'm going to do. And you then, said it out loud. Mm-hmm. Because I remember that, and I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, and it sounds it was like, like a really good slogan. Yeah. I know it was like funny, but it was like that was, but I felt it like that's exactly what I was going to just live because who cares? You know, I just, it's, it's food isn't everything. Right. And that was her entire point. And thinking about diets, skinny isn't everything and thin isn't everything. It's not life. It's more, life is so much more than how we look and how we, you know, think. But if we don't look like we, <clears throat> if we feel like we're, if we don't feel like we're magnifying, meaning looks do matter, we can tell ourselves they don't. They do. Yeah, but I, what, I'm, what I'm getting at is like the obsession with a certain number, which which we weren't. You know, I wasn't. But the obsession about each, like like if we're not eating, we're thinking about our next meal or what we can't have or what we can't we should have instead or what. Which is usually what like, comes with those Weight Watcher diets or the, diet. the keto diet or any yeah. any diet whatsoever mm-hmm. comes with more what the restriction level. What you can and can't. Right. The rules. Right. We make we make that diet responsible for our, ourselves. Which our great grandparents and grandparents likely never thought one minute that about. Was a, that was a big part of her book was right. my, her grandparents ate bacon and coconut cream pie and um, whole milk and things and it was they just stopped eating when they it just they weren't obsessed with it and then they lived life yeah. for higher pr- principles you know and that's and so giving away the but she had a, a the, giving away the two bites i didn't i'd learned saying it out loud from a different place a different um source saying it out loud moves the choice yeah i'm <laughs> gonna i'm gonna give choice. this back is, is it takes away the power 
yeah, I don't want to. I want it so bad. I'm not going to. I'm yeah, going to so give this at away. some point, food became mm-hmm. fuel, something we still enjoy sometimes, mm-hmm. too, as well. <laughs> I'd say even more so than most. But we're pretty responsible about it. Hey, what are you feeling like? And every once in a while, you're really feeling pizza. And it's like when you're feeling pizza, like, oh, sweet. Mm-hmm. All right. Paige is feeling pizza. And we're <laughs> going to go grab ourselves yeah. pizza that we really like. Or I'm really feeling, a, last week it was, I'm really, not nah, the week before, I think. I'm really feeling a big piece of meat. Because we'd had a... <laughs> yeah, a steak. A, we'd, had, we'd had a oh, yeah. pretty grueling week uh, with the weights that particular week. And for some reason, you were just feeling... Meat. A, 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 mm-hmm. You said a big big piece of meat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's let's do I that. Know, that was awesome. provide the best meals, whatever it is I want. That was awesome. It it was, it's super yeah. fun to hang. Um, but then you watched, and I called it the parking lot. And I always used to tell you that your body will body mm-hmm. and life will life. Your mm-hmm. body will body. Don't pick a weight. And then all of a sudden you blinked and it literally was within, it was really the <clears throat> fastest, like natural drop. It's almost like, it's almost like the good Lord was just waiting to bless you. It was exactly what happened too. Because yeah. you put the brand of page on it. I put, yeah. You put yes. your brand, the things that, that had spoken to you, truths that have spoken to you before. And you mm-hmm. said, you know what? And I remember a little bit before this time, uh-huh. not many, not, not that long, but a little bit before this time, you, and my sister's a, a dietitian and an exercise freak. Mm-hmm. And we won't use her name, but Katie's crazy as a road <laughs> lizard. Oh, she's not crazy. She oh, she's so not. legit of uh, I love of that. I love her. She's awesome. But yeah. she's a fitness guru, and she wrote you out a... She didn't want to because she's like, I, yeah. you know, I don't want to... She's know, not a big I don't diet want you to fan. Yeah, she's not a diet fan, but she's a dietetics major, and so she has the, yeah. the skill to write a, a diet plan, which I begged her to do. Mm-hmm. And she emailed it to me or texted me, and I. And she could didn't not... want to give it to you, because mm-hmm. it's just going to be frustrating, and and, and it was. Well, yeah, because she actually doesn't even support a meal plan anymore. Right. She likes, yeah, I mean, you know, more lifeless food, too. more lifeless food too. Mm-hmm. But there's, yeah. But so she but, provided that to you mm-hmm. with a big caution sign, and you looked at it, and I remember you crying, mm-hmm. like there's no way you mm-hmm. could do this. <laughs> and I find this hilarious because you do far more than that now. Mm-hmm. And it's That's not ens- even enslavement. This is this is liberation. What right. I do, I get it's you know how I want to be, how I get to be, and I don't even desire. That's success. I don't even desire food. Yeah. Um, that Every I don't. Every once in a while, you'll feel like something though. But which is right. cool. But most of the time, we're like, I don't know, I don't. And right. that's a, that's freedom. <laughs> you don't have to cry over this. It is freedom. It is it, awesome. Like cool but thing. we want everybody to know that they could do it mm-hmm. because the other day, this is why I wanted to talk to you about it today. So all the Glow fans and the Arizona and the Arizona <laughs> Law Firm fans, all mm-hmm. ten of you, uh, pay attention <laughs> and start thought, spreading thought, the word thought. and hit the notification and 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 ask yeah. us some questions for the love of Pete because we got a lot of answers. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want to mm-hmm. refine up your life and lose some weight and get a little bit stronger. I do this because I'm old. You're not. You're young and gorgeous. I'm old. Has you been. You're not old. You're young and uh, gorgeous yes, as well. Yes. Uh, uh, no. Yes. And sure. we don't have grandkids. Last time I checked. No. Which is not a big deal for you, but those of us pushing fitty in the room. <laughs> oh, that's me. That's so young. Right. Okay. You're so funny. With no grandkids oh in tow, that means I'm going to be quite. The We're elderly statesmen, well, and nobody's rooting for the ones that we got to be getting knocked up anytime soon. We're almost there, yes. <laughs> anyway, mm-hmm. um, so it's important to me to be relevant for our family and relevant for our unknown grandkids and relevant physically. I don't want to be a burden, and I don't want that to be because I didn't give life an effort. We saw some sort of picture the other day with some words on it. I don't know what they call those things, but it was inspirational. And it was talking to women, but I really was inspired by this. Had some gal that was very fit that says it would be a shame to die and not know how great you could have been. Uh, yeah. Something like that? The, um, I'll find it while we... But, but even that, I mean, some people aren't physically or health, 
health-wise able, and even they can have a life that... I don't think anybody's not health-wise able. I think I anyone's mean, like, able of movement. Ill, you know, like sure. real people with real... Um, well, we had our good friend Mark that was diagnosed with stage four cancer 12 years ago and has been running marathons just to fight his cancer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's an excuse a minute. No, I, yeah, I don't mean it like that. Just like life is so much more than, but if you're able to, it would be a shame. Like some people are more who can't or, you know, who have a, but if you are able and you, here it is. It is a shame for a woman to grow old without ever seeing the strength and beauty of what her body her body is capable of. Be more, do more. And so I guess that yeah, that could be any. To me, it's mm -hmm. that applies to anyone. Oh, ab yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I don't agree in limitations. I don't grow I don't old. feel I, I, I want to grow old and be very capable. I don't want to grow old without seeing. Of, so what it, like what your dad said, I want to be a piece of steel that you, they just throw into the earth and worn and worn and go sliding sideways into a grave. Yeah. Like, woohoo, what a ride. But what a ride. And, and I love wow. that. And it's, yeah. and it's so much fun. It's so much fun to be, to not have food be our, our slave. Mm -hmm. And so many yes. people, if you take a st step yeah. back, they're a slave to food. Everyone is, yes. I mean, not everyone, but that's a huge... And that's kind of what you got from uh, exactly a little bit that you got from me. I was like, food, yeah. is, food is full, fuel. and We are not meant to be enslaved to food. Food is a tool for us. Yeah. It's made for... And we do enjoy food, but, you know, that coconut cream pie you talk about has not been on our table in a long time. But if, we, if it but felt if, like it, we Yeah, would. but if we felt like one, like every once in a while, you were a cheesecake fan for a minute. I think you're over that one now. I think you're on to something once else. I felt like it, but... But you, but you said, hey, I, I want a piece of cheesecake some point in the next couple of weeks. Like, That's how you put it to me. Yeah. Well, how cool was that? I mean, yeah, like, and, that and we're like, we got there at some point. I'm like, well, you want to do it that now? Naturally. And then I think it was on Saturday. You said, well, I will go on the date on Saturday. I think. I can't remember. I don't remember. I remember there was tape delayed, But it though. did come out naturally right. that whenever. And yeah. I meant it. And Yeah, you did. And, mm -hmm. and then we get this fancy one at the wherever, that factory that's got the name of it, Cheesecake <laughs> there. And this episode has been brought to you by <laughs> not the Cheesecake yeah, Factory. Yeah. Could However, be. could be. Why yeah, not? If they be. want to start throwing some shekels our way for all ten of you that are watching this, <laughs> people should be watching uh, this. Yeah, they should. They take one look at you. They should be starting to watch this well, all you the too. time. You're, you lost fifty pounds. Yeah, once upon a time, I was, it was I was way years young. Ago. <laughs> I was cares? way young. I was thirty-two years old. That's Thirty-one, thirty-two in there. Yeah. And yeah, I looked like Austin Powers. Oh, it was filthy. <laughs> But that was a really quick... Not, oh, it was kidding. filthy. Okay. That, anyway. The three chins mm -hmm. was just not a good look. <laughs> it just wasn't a good look. It look I, thought you were, I thought you looked hot. Well, you didn't know me back then. But you knew me at mine, and you thought... Oh, well, yeah. So... Well, you're a firecracker at any weight. But nonetheless, <laughs> it's been super fun to be on this ride with you. you. Know, and I knew, because I said that way back when there was a reason you trusted me in the in the I in, trusted you yeah well yeah, there's in, a lot in, of reasons and that moment was the hardest moment I cried in the dressing room I think yeah, I remember that because I had never really sized looked, up things no I had never let anyone in the room with me ever mm. not even a friend because friends don't would never look friends right. would never do that to them to I, I it was just a number to me I didn't know and you were upgrade. You were upgrading. You took me to Nordstrom and got had a shopper shop for some things that would dress me nice where mm -hmm. I was at. Well, now you dress yourself super sassy all the time, dress, and you so I, better. You, this weird, is so not true. You need a little tiny bit of help, and then boo, you took it from there. And it, it was fun to you see. Stood there but with I me and let me cry, and you smiled at me. So well, I knew I knew that it mattered to you because you would because you were on these diets and you were walking and doing this and doing that. I knew it mattered to you, and I knew at some point you were. I'd never met your dad, who's a who's a freak of nature. He's awesome. No, not really. He just does what he just does. He's he just does active. This. Does his yeah. movement. Runs his stairs. Does his. I mean, he he's does does things. He's disciplined and he's consistent. And he's been since I was since he was thirty. I mean, so this guy is 
60 some odd years, 66, 67 no, years old. He would turn 66 two years ago. Oh, he's 68 so he just years 68 old. Last he's week. some gal that worked for him for almost 30 years passes away and he goes and, and grieves running stairs in a sweatsuit in a sweatsuit in this weather. Las Vegas, yeah. In this he weather, a, he wears a much. beanie on the top and, and a, a beanie and a 25 pound weight vest. And I just think that. that's studly. He's a uh, He's given his little brother by a li- by a long shot, mm. his mm-hmm. little brother who needed a kidney or a kidney, and your dad's 65, 66 years old and has this pristine kidney because mm-hmm. he just takes care of his body. Yeah, but a really good part about that part is that he was not a match though. So most people would have stopped. But most people wouldn't even get tested. I mean, that's a hard thing right. to give, and I don't judge that. Um, but he went a step further because you can give to somebody else on behalf. Right, and, and so, so they you can are get, giving right. a kidney to someone, and that therefore someone else is going to give them to you. It's a swap, basically. Yeah, it's a it's a liver swap meet or kidney <laughs> swap meet. But he could have been like, oh, phew, I'm not a match. I don't have to worry. You know right, what I mean? He, he went through um, with it, but he found a way to get. And his he brother. still finds a way to stay as active as and he was had, before. Yes, and they had a he had a better health kidney than the he had the highest old. grade of ki- uh, right. Kidney he had a, he had a grade A, the highest grade you could possibly yeah. get kidney. <laughs> yeah, which I don't even know if I would be he in that category. Away. I'd like to think so, but nonetheless, I have no idea. It's but so psychologically, cool. he had to go through psychological tests. The testing I had never even heard of, but uh, the cool part long. of that is is yeah. he wasn't much for Advil. He's not much for the Tylenol. He's not much for allergy medication. He's not much for these things, these pain things, these comfort mm-hmm. things. And that's what makes our organs completely pristine. And those of us of younger generations, we don't like this pain thing or this discomfort thing. Yeah. And so I grew up, I'm still an elder statesman in this room. <laughs> You're so I'm the one pushing fitty. Like, I grew up okay. in no pain, no gain. And yeah, we all sneezed from time to time when it was dusty outside, yeah. and we all would get stuffy noses from time to time when it was stuffy nose time. And it just stuffy nose time. It, 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 we're, we're in Arizona. That's what happens. You get the pollens and all that jazz yeah, blowing around. And did you know the key, the heat, the hundred degree heat, kills the pollen? Kills oh yay the, for the hundred! Tell everybody out there how great. Before that, there's no the heat. Ninety eight degrees does not kill it, but hundred and above does kill. it. So Paige starts Glow, and and go see that. It's Paige Glow, mm-hmm. um, G-L-O, so Paige, P-A-I-G-E, Glow. Mm-hmm. And she starts Glow, and she's not exactly excited to be in the limelight. She's not exactly excited to be um, a, 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 fo- a focus of attention, but I feel like more people need to see what the gorgeous girl next door can do. And it's mm-hmm. movement and it's consistency. You can be as fit as you are consistent. And therefore, you should. I've been find watching like. this, and yeah. it's just like this is the coolest thing. You're like, find my grind. I wanted it, and you find eventually gr- found your grind. You've found your mm-hmm. grind, and sometimes you got to be re-reminded of your grind. Now and I'm some, refining the grind. Well, refine the grind. See, mm-hmm. she, she she can come up with refine these. She the can. Grind. Now I'm in she the, can take one refine word, the grind, and blend it to another word, um, and have it wrap chapter. or or or. or rhyme or just mm, hashtag or, or a, just it, hashtag it's a, it's a it's a talent <laughs> it's a statement it's a wave <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a statement it's, it's statement. awesome to live this yeah. way with your partner not everybody's yes. going to have a spouse or uh, a significant other spouse that's going to want to go along for the ride with you with with each other I, this has been a fun ride for me too i got to notice all these cool things that i never really considered and I thought gosh I should probably be considering that little tiny piece of thing uh, that that little small thing that you would observe mm-hmm. and be grateful for mm-hmm. and I'm like I've never had to or else measured it. this body part or this or this and this and then just to stay consistent write it down or take pictures of I have to have those I have to win or else I will stop doing it I will not have the the ability to continue with something if I'm not winning at it if I'm not made getting a result from it and I know that so even if the if the result is too far off I, I just won't do it and so I just cannot be so you like the little enough. victories I had to have those otherwise I was not going to continue along well, so what makes this cool though is now you just jump on the scale and it's data so yes. whether you're two or three pounds up or two or three pounds down it almost feels almost the same 
It's like, okay, yeah, there's zero, yeah, mental, there's no, no okay. emotion hmm. to it. I probably ought to not, I, I probably ought to not eat out for a minute or two. Yeah. Um, or, oh, sweet. Um, what have I been doing right? Right? Sometimes, yeah. I just, yeah. Oh, wow. Huh. There's been Let some... me think about what I've been doing right. Seeing it, yeah. I guess it kind of just happens on the inside now. I don't think too much, but I am that way in work and in everything. Relationships, I have to see, like, the things are... The little bright spots. I have to have the bright, yeah. If I'm failing or if it feels like failure or it feels hard, too hard all the time and I'm not doing good, I don't... If that makes sense. Yeah. So the reward... It, uh, you like the little mile posts. Yes. A little momentum. So, the, but you, like the, to, you like to feel the momentum. I have to feel the momentum and see it. I have to know that it's happening ah. and believe it. And I ha- the reward itself is the activity for me because otherwise I wouldn't do it either. I'm just a dumb dude. I just pick up my shovel and walk to the mine. So I, I but it's been. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to bleep this now. Sorry, it's been though. so family beaches friendly not, um, until now. She starts talking about beaches. Beaches. I'm too emotional. I'm too. Um, I don't know. She listens to a shameful amount of rap music. Not really anymore. Really, I'm not anymore. <laughs> No, I you know what? I, 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 I agree that the, 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 the feminine um, folks probably are wired differently than, than a lot of I older think... gentlemen. But the newer gentlemen are just as beaches as I you don't beaches. Know. Bailey sits across from me and is like, OK, girl, you know, yeah, he's young and he will be like N- too much. No, no, nope, not doing that. And he'll just kindly. Sh- no. Nope. All right, all right, all right, all oh, right. Mm-hmm. All I'm going to say is Boys, th- it's been fun to watch, <laughs> and I think that people need to go out there, check this out. We're going to drop some um, some before and afters on your Instagram mm, here pretty cool. close yeah. in, in the next week or so. So be paying attention for that. It's Page Glow, and, and what's your Instagram handle? What Page what Glow. It, page mm-hmm. Glow. Underscore, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. If they type it in, that'll just pop up, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and anyone can do this because... We're it's movement. Not. It doesn't have to be rollerblade. It doesn't have no. to be this. It doesn't have to be. It's it has just to be a reward for you. Whatever fix, that is. Figure your yeah. movement. Figure. Okay, take a good look at your life, mm-hmm. and then let's go from there. Let's take a good look at. Okay, where am I at now? Mm-hmm. And let's go from there. Because it could be jump be okay. rope. It could be. I did have to be okay where I was. I had to, you know. I thought it was this might awesome. Be a different pod too, but I had to be right where I was. Okay, everywhere. I yeah, was. no, we're gonna pod about that. To be okay in each you're stage. Because like, oh, I'm just a fat guy. Well, that's not how women see it usually. I, or I, I was, I got to ride the ride with you. It's a shame. And it was super cool. It was fun. And I remember that yeah. day that you said it to me in our kitchen. You're like, ah, more life, less food. I'm gonna, and it was like mm-hmm. this weight dissipated from your shoulders it was like gone Mm -hmm. and not only that but then it was like every day there's like ah like you're stepping on the scale every other day Mm -hmm. every other day you're stepping on the scale or whatever it was it was seemingly very regular Mm -hmm. boom 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 and i'm like what i was shocked i'm like god rewarded me every time i sacrificed hard uh, something that was hard to do a, a it was, reward. I'm telling everybody out there, it was badass mm-hmm. to, to watch it that. Was it was like really cool. miracle. And the fact that you were taking pictures of a scale. Had, yeah. And you wouldn't even get on one when we got married. <laughs> I know. You know, how cool was that? And then yeah. just rolling in, you know, in the minus 120s now. And, yeah. you know, in the teens. And you're like, I never thought, I never thought. And I, and I remember telling you way long time ago when that seemed to be an impossibility or a princess fairy tale. You need a fairy godmother mm. for that. I remember saying, don't ever get yeah. a weight in your mind. Yeah. You never know mm-hmm. because there's too many big boned or I'm not built that way or it doesn't work for me. And I want to just say BS to all of that. It is not true. It is not so. You thought you were big boned when we got married. Well, you actually said things like that to me. I said, I'm, yeah, I'm I was a not tough girl. I'm a big. One thirty. I could never get below one thirty five. Mm-hmm. Is what you said, or thirty three? I don't know. I just thirty three, something uh, like that. Um, and I yeah. just I didn't care one way or the yeah. other mm-hmm. what what that looked like. I just remembered mm-hmm. myself going. Uh, this is way less than I thought I'd get to. Um, well, and, and you, I just kept yeah. going. I just kind of kept it going. I enjoy yeah, that right. ride. I enjoy the, and sometimes we have our setbacks. Sometimes we've had setbacks. I've had some surgeries had and this is and that. So we've had mm-hmm. setbacks Yes. and there's sometimes minor, 
mm-hmm. which is kind of what we deal with now, little minor setbacks, little reminders that we have refining. more life, less food, refine this. Yeah. And we have Grind that. Refining. Grind and, refining. And, and, and it's not even a bad yeah. word now. Mm-mm. I think you're awesome. I think you're awesome. We're going to pot again. Page Glow. Mm-hmm. Pay, check it out. She's going to drop some before and afters next week or so. And, uh, and let, let's get something done together. 